we will carry out the estimation of total hardness of water. This estimation is a part of chemical analysis of water to ascertain the suitability of water for a specific use. Hardness may be defined as soap consuming capacity of water which is caused due to the presence of dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium. Total hardness is the sum of two types of hardness, permanent hardness and temporary hardness. Appropriate hardness in water with calcium and magnesium ions is good to health. Hardness in water may lead to the failure of boilers in industries and power stations which are used to generate steam. The estimation involves complexometric titration. The complexing agent that is the multidictant ligand used is disodium salt of EDTA. EDTA that is di ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid is a reagent which reacts with metal ions like calcium and magnesium forming complex compounds. Therefore, this reagent can be used to determine the concentration of hardness causing substances. Metal ion sensitive indicator is used to get visual color ch change at the end point and here aerochrome black tea indicator is used. The structure of EDTA is as shown. EDTA is the derivative of diethyl amine containing four acetic acid groups, but EDTA as such is less soluble in water. Therefore, disodium salt of EDTA is used for the estimation where the two hydrogens of EDTA are replaced by sodium. The reagents used for the experiment are disodium salt of EDTA, water sample, buffer solution, indicator ABT, ammonia solution to dissolve the sample. Now we will start the preparation of disodium salt of EDTA solution required for the experiment. The weight sample has been transferred onto the funnel placed over the volumetric flask. The crystals are dissolved by using 5 ml of ammonia solution. Add along the sides of the funnel. Now wash the funnel along the sides. Remove the funnel, stopper the volumetric flask, then swirl the flask to dissolve the crystals completely. Make sure all the crystals are completely dissolved. You can add some more water for the dissolution of crystals. Make sure the complete dissolution of the crystals and then add water till the neck portion by using wash bottle. Now take some water in a conical flask, then using the pipette add the last few drops. Hold the flask in your left palm, keep the flask at your eye level and add water along the side slowly so that the lower meniscus coincide with the mark. Now the meniscus coincides exactly with the mark. Now close the stopper, invert the flask and mix the solution well for uniform concentration.
this is, this is repeated for at least 2 to 3 times to get the solution of uniform strength. Now this standard solution is filled in the burette. Firstly, the burette is thoroughly washed with top tap water and rinsed with DNS water and now it is rinsed with the prepared solution. Using 2 to 3 ml of the prepared solution, rinse the burette by holding it horizontally and rotate. Now the rinsed solution is discarded. Now using a funnel, transfer the prepared standard solution to the burette. Now adjust it to zero mark. Fix it to the strand. Now pipette out the hard water sample into a clean conical flask. Before that, the pipette is rinsed with the sample solution. Discard the rinsed solution to the sink. Now adjust the marking to the meniscus. Transfer the solution to the conical flask. Give a gentle tap to the base of the conical flask to collect the final drops. Now to the conical flask about 5 ml of buffer solution is added. to maintain the pH of the solution. Add 2 to 3 drops of aerochrome black tea indicator. The solution turns wine red due to the complex formation between the metal ions and the indicator. Now titrate this solution against EDTA taken in the burette. The first trial, the first reading is 0. Now add 
the solution slowly to the conical flask till the end point is reached. Near the end point, add the solution slowly. The solution addition is stopped when the wine red color turns clear blue color. So, this is the end point of the titration. Now remove the beverage, hold it to your eye level and read out the beverage reading. The beverage reading is 16. The final beverage reading is 16. The next trial. The solution has been pipetted out. The buffer is added. Two to three drops of indicator is added. The wine red solution is titrated. Now the initial value is 16. Titration is continued to get the end point. Now the clear blue color is caught. The second reading is 32.4.
two, 2 to 3 drops of indicator sardin and the third trial is continued with the same solution. The titration is repeated to get the concordant values. Minimum of three trials have to be conducted. Forty eight point six. So, like this, the readings are tabulated and calculated using the following calculations. The reactions involved in the experiment when the indicator is added to hard water, firstly, the calcium and magnesium ions react with the indicator, forming the metal and indicator complex, which is wine red in color. When the wine red solution is titrated against EDTA, EDTA forms the complex with free calcium and magnesium ions which is, which is a colorless complex releasing H plus ions. The formation of H plus ions will bring down the pH of the solution therefore the pH is maintained by adding the buffer solution. Next near the end point, near the end point the wine red complex is dissociated by the complexing agent EDTA forming the colorless complex and finally the indicator is released. The color of the indicator is blue therefore the end point is the wine color, wine red color changes to blue at the end. Now the observation and calculations. Firstly the weight of the sample is taken by using a electronic balance. The first weight is taken along with the weighing bottle and as well as the sample and it is 5.030 grams. Next the sample is transferred to the volumetric flask and the weight of the weighing bottle is 3.509 grams. Now the transfer the weight of the transferred salt is 1.521 grams. The molarity of the EDTA solution is calculated by <coughs> using the formula weight of the salt into 4 divided by the molecular weight of the EDTA sample that is 1.521 into 4 divided by 372.24. The molarity of the solution is 0 0.016337 molar. Now the calculations are shown as follows. Finally, finally the total hardness of water is calculated and it is expressed in terms of ppm of calcium carbonate.